Good afternoon, everybody. Ken Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions. We're in Temecula, California, the John Blanche Memorial Soccer Complex. A boys under nine match just starting in orange. You've got FC Barcelona going up against the red team, the Elsinore Valley squad. And right now it's FC Barcelona moving from left to right, right down the middle. Little center pass shot towards the net. It's going to find its way into the corner quickly. Number 10 for FC Barcelona, Diego Garcia, puts one through. And he will give FC Barcelona an early 1 0 lead here on Elsinore Valley. Before we could even get you the rosters for each of these squads, we've got a score. We'll get you the roster for Elsinore Valley first as the ball moves here to the near side. Number four and the keeper right now is Alfonso Hernandez. Number five, number five is Marco Lemus. Number seven is Roberto Guerrero. Number eight is Isais Placito. Number 11 is Hector Montañez. Number 13 is Angel Rivera. Ball out across the back line, and I think it's a corner kick, and it is for FC Barcelona. Number 14, Frank Barrios. Number 15, Agustin Lara. And number 20 is George Ramirez. The head coach, Jose Rivera, and the assistant coach is Alfonso Hernandez. So the Elsinore Valley squad doing a good job here on defense as they clear the ball up towards midfield. And number seven, there he goes, Roberto Guerrero trying to get through the backfield. He's got two orange jerseys to beat, moves into the middle and takes a shot with a left leg and it goes wide of the net. Number 20, the keeper, Mark Calderon for FC Barcelona was there. So a goal kick for FC Barcelona. And we'll get you there, roster number one is Carlos Valle, number three, Pedro Arellano. Number four is Kevin Fernandez, number five, Yosimar Hernandez. Number six is Francisco Orozco, number seven is Jose Aguilar. Number eight is Elmer Guerra, number nine is Javier Moran. Number 10, Diego Garcia, number 11, Jose Ponce. And that shot is gonna get right underneath the diving Calderon. Number 15, 
number 15 for Elsinore Valley, right in the middle, Agustin Lora. And he will tie this match at one. So right off the whistle here, two quick scores. So we might be watching a shootout here. And as soon as I say that, this game could, this match could end 1-1 for all we know. But I don't know, these are two quick teams. They're getting after it and these are boys. And they want to see some scoring, a little trip right there. That's going to go against the red squad. Number 11 whistled there, Hector Montañez. So going back to FC Barcelona, as we said, number 11 is Jose Ponce. Number 12 is George Sanchez. Number 20, the keeper, Mark Calderon. Number 23 is Juan Orozco. Number 58 is Luis Castro. And picking that one up, Alfonso Hernandez. The head coach for Barcelona, Jose Aguilar, and the assistant coach is Silver Perez. So ball belongs to FC Barcelona on the far side. Number 12, off his foot, George Sanchez. Elsinore Valley, number, I think that was number five there, right at midfield, Marco. Listed as number six on the roster, but he is definitely number five here today, Calderon. But watch that one roll out the back line. Goal kick for FC Barcelona. Smart move by their keeper. And number four will take the kick, Kevin Fernandez. We've got two 25-minute halves here, no overtime here. This is the bracket play rounds here of State Cup 2007. Here in Temecula, beautiful day. Got a nice wind. And now it's Lake, or Lake Elsinore, Elsinore Valley on the left half. Barcelona trying to push this one across midfield and take one right in the forehead, number 10, Diego Garcia, but he seems to be okay. And as the ball comes in, it goes out. Belongs to El Sinor Valley. Goes off Juan Orozco, number 23. Both of the jerseys, colors for each of these squads, very easy to spot the numbers. So a good job. Goes out to whoever picked these uniforms out for each of these teams. I like the gold numbers against the orange jerseys there for FC Barcelona. The nice bright red and bright white for Elsinore Valley coming out as Calderon. He's got to get back, he does. Defense has to get back in there as number seven for Elsinore Valley has made his way into the box, Roberto Guerrero, but he needed some help as he was surrounded by orange jerseys and he was easily taken away. Far side. And just as put it to play off of number eight for Elsinore Valley, Isais Placito. I tell you, George Langevin Productions, we've been around the last month or so. Phoenix and in San Bernardino here, and the weather's been cold. That shot towards the net, off the keeper. He recovers nicely. Good job, Alfonso Hernandez, as that ball nearly scooted away from him. And there were a couple of orange jerseys there waiting to take advantage. But he held on to it and now clears it up across midfield. Here comes Elsinore Valley number seven, Guerrero. And he tries a shot here from the near side. And it's wide, the second time he's been wide here. And number four, Kevin Fernandez will take the goal kick. Well, an inadvertent handball right there inside the circle. And number 20, George Ramirez sets up the free kick and he's gonna take it. Down the middle, now it angles over to the far side, and there's Mark Calderon, and he quickly uses the left leg to boot it up across midfield. In the circle. 
Barcelona. That was Diego Garcia, number 10. He's going to take a spell, but he's going to be whistled there for the penalty. You never like when you go down and are whistled, but it happens. And the ball out here on the near side. Guerrero there, but it goes off the red team. And FC Barcelona will put the ball into play. Shot towards the net, high in the air. Calderon goes up and he's got it. Nice shot by Marco Lemus. Number five for Elsinore Valley. Strong leg. Elsinore Valley's defense clears it up to midfield. Oh, trying to get out and run, but the defender there, the sweeper there for number, for FC Barcelona, number six, Francisco Rosco, takes it away. Throw is gonna go out here on the near side. Big boot into the middle by Juan Orozco, number 23. Ball over to the far side. Now with the left leg upfield. Let's see who gets to the ball. Coming out as a keeper, he leaves the net wide open, and that shot is going to find its way into the back of the net. And there he is on the far side, Diego Garcia. Number 10 with the shot. And it's two to one FC Barcelona here in the first half. And one thing we've noticed is both of these squads do not hesitate to shoot from anywhere on the field. Garcia goes down and that's gonna go against late Elsinore Valley. Get it, get it, get it, grab it, grab it. The middle, let's go. So it's going to be a nice spot here for probably a direct free kick. Let's see. Got to see it with that leg. More than capable. Nope, it's not Diego Garcia. Substitute real quick for Elsinore Valley. Number 13 is in. Angel Rivera. There's a shot to the net. Deflected right in front of the net and right there on the rebound is Garcia again. His second goal in about a minute. That ball off of Alfonso Hernandez's hand bounces in front of him and right there was number 10, Diego Garcia. And it's three to one. FC Barcelona over Elsinore Valley. But the way these two squads are playing, that might not be a safe lead. Here comes FC Barcelona again, number eight. Elmer Guerra. And we're going to have a change of keeper for Elsinore Valley, number six. And he was number five. That was Marco Lemus. And now he's wearing number six, his keeper jersey. So a three to one lead for FC Barcelona. On your toes, Justin. Go outside, guard the backside. Brandon Barnes. Elsinore Valley puts the ball into play from the far side, boots it into the middle. And nice recovery there, number 14, Frank Barrios. Barrios there, number 14, puts the ball in a play here on the near side. And again, that ball booted into the backfield. And Marco scoops it up. Nice strong kick. Gets across midfield, but the header by number 11, Jose Ponce, puts it back towards the right half. Here comes FC Barcelona again. Nice job defensively by Elsinore Valley. 
Come on, come on, come on. Keep it close to your legs, okay? It's okay, Mingo, let's go. Just keep it close to your legs. Into the middle, nice header. Diego Garcia can't get the shot, can't get the setup. And I tell you, who's doing a lot of good work defensively there in the middle for Elsinore Valley is number 20, George Ramirez. He is everywhere, and there he is now chasing this one down on the near side. Orozco, number 23, the ball is out and off of Orange, so it's Elsinore Valley ball. All out on the near side now finally put into play and behind the net. So a goal kick for Elsinore Valley. Nice kick right down the middle, but Diego Garcia with the header. Keeps the ball in front of him. Leg by Carlos Valle, number one. Now it rolls over to the far side, and Lemus will let that one roll. And it'll be a goal kick for Elsinore Valley. And again, Diego Sanchez ready to strike. So on the far side, Elmer Guerra puts the ball into play number eight. For FC Barcelona, kick to the shin. And the referee is going to talk to Diego Sanchez on that one. For Diego Garcia, that is. So free kick on the penalty. Nice boot up field with the left leg. They want to run, there's nobody in front of the net, but unable to have position up front was Elsinore Valley in the defense. Nice little flick right there, number 10. Diego Garcia hit to the near side to Orozco, number 23, back to Garcia. Juan Orozco trying to find an opening somewhere, outside, then in. Now the ball rolls over to the far side, and there he is. George Ramirez has been very busy today. Ramirez again saving it over here to the near side. Save from going out. Nice job, number seven here, Roberto Guerrero. Roberto with some strong force behind those kicks. Now it'll roll to the backfield. George Ramirez runs it down, and the keeper, Marco Lemus. Kick over to the far side, stopped. Number 13 goes up field with it, Angel Rivera, but the ball goes out. So the kick, George Ramirez looks up, Phil. Strong kick inside the circle. Nice job there by number eight getting in the way. He sized Placito. So FC Barcelona right now controlling the pace of this game, keeping the pressure down here on the defense of Elsinore Valley. Ball out on the far side. 
Guerrero number seven moves here to the near side. Nice change of direction. Tries to go right to the middle and thread the needle, but the ball taken away and across midfield. Juan Orozco, number 23, running it down. Can't get there in time. Nelson or Valley. Will put the ball into play. Over to the corner, off the leg of Kevin Fernandez, number four for FC Barcelona. Nice takeaway there, number 11 for Elsinore Valley, Hector Montañez. And let's see if his team can get something going here. It's in the circle. Jose Ponce, number 11, right back to him. Agustin Lara, number 15 for Elsinore Valley, had it. Taken away, loses it. Still coming in deep. Rosco with a shot to the net. And that ball is going to get off the hands of the keeper, Marco Lemus, and into the back of the net to the side of the net. And FC Barcelona with their fourth score of the match. And they lead it 4 1 in the first half. Under 10 minutes, we just about seven minutes to go here in the half. Battle for the ball. Let's see who comes down with it. And it is FC Barcelona, number four. Kevin Fernandez across midfield trying to outrun everybody. George Ramirez, though, with those long legs, keeps up with him. And the ball goes out off FC Barcelona. Goal kick for Elsinore Valley. Substitution on the near side for FC Barcelona. Into the match number 12, George Sanchez, replacing number 11, Jose Ponce. Elsinore Valley needs to put together some offense here before the end of this first half. Get another score. Cut that lead from two to from three to two. They trail 4-1. There's Garcia, number 10, can't handle the ball. Kicked upfield, number eight, Isais Placito. In the circle over here to the near side. Juan Orozco, number 23. Couldn't get there in time, but I think it was last touch by Elsinore Valley, and it'll be a corner kick, and quickly the ball put back into play, but they say too quick. Substitution on the far side for Elsinore Valley. Right before this corner. Corner kick just about set now. With the left leg, comes out. Orozco there, number 23, ball into the middle now. Can they get a shot? The defense is there. Diego Garcia wanted that one, couldn't get it. This one's wide, and let's see. That whistle goes against FC Barcelona. Elsinore Valley gets to clear it away from the net. Across midfield. 
Now into the backfield, but right there is Calderon, the keeper. But we had a whistle up here in the circle. Sanchez, or Diego Garcia, wondering what he did. But it was a weightless, a late whistle. And here's George Ramirez, number 20 for Elsinore Valley. Strong kick, ball loose in the middle. And the left leg at number eight, Isaias Placito will send one to the net, but keeper Mark Calderon is there. Ball taken away from Diego Garcia. Number 15, Agustin Lara over here to the near side to Guerrero. Roberto Guerrero into the middle. Calderon scoops it up, though. Tough move, but he made it. Now the ball will roll into the backfield. Right to the keeper. And Marco will clear it up across midfield. Nice strong kick. Garcia is back near that line on the far side. Whistle, that's going to go against El Sonor Valley is Diego Garcia went flying across your screen there. Orozco will get his shot, but it's deflected at the last second. Nice job defensively for El Sonor Valley. Ball was in the back of Calderon. Really has a lot of faith in his defense right now as he is well out in front of the net. And he's got a four to one lead. So he can play a little bit back there. Ball angles here to the near side and out. Elsinore Valley, number 14 here, will put the ball into play, Frank Barrios. Trip right here by Orozco on number seven, Guerrero. So the free kick here. And it's George Ramirez who will take the kick. Down the middle and right into the hands of Calderon again. But right now, what you can see is we've been calling his name the last few minutes. So Elsinore Valley is starting to put some pressure into the backfield of FC Barcelona. And again, left leg push. It's loose. Can number seven get there? He does for the score. Roberto Guerrero on the second chance. And they really needed that, Elsinore Valley. It's now 4-2. We've got an injured FC Barcelona player. I think he took a shot right to the shin. And I believe that is Diego Garcia, number 10. And he seems to be all right. He took one into the forehead earlier. So a nice job by number seven, Roberto Guerrero for Elsinore Valley as he stayed with that one after it got away from Calderon. Was able to chase it down and just Push it into the net. And there it is. That's the end of the half. So nice timing for Elsinore Valley as they scored just in the last seconds of the first half. King Gonzalez, George Lange of Introduction, this boys under nine match. FC Barcelona with a 4-2 lead over Elsinore Valley as we head into halftime. We'll be back with the second half in just a minute.
para jugar a play hard, George. George, no me controle balones ahí, agárrele y péguele como sea, pero ustedes háganse del balón para que puedan llegar a ayudar. Pero 10, le anda pateando el balón, déjenle que lo Aquí, aquí arriba. Tú tienes que jugar más duro, esto no andas jugando como una niña. Usted también, bebé. Está jugando horrible usted. Anda, el balón está allá y el bebé anda aquí, viendo a ver qué está pasando alrededor. Aquí anda el bebé y el balón allá. Los ojos tienen que estar en el balón todo el tiempo, entiendan. Hey, welcome back. King Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions, the start of the second half of this boys under nine match. FC Barcelona with a 4-2 lead over Elsinore Valley as we start play here. Again, FC Barcelona in orange, Elsinore Valley with the red. Ball out of the far side. And back in a keeper for Elsinore Valley to start this second half, Alfonso Hernandez. And in the middle, Marco Lemus number five. Diego Garcia number 10, can he get a shot? No, it's deflected, that one to the net, past the diving keeper off the leg of number 11, Jose Ponce. And there he is. Inside the circle. And there goes Ponce, just outside the circle, off that score. Over to the far sideline, number six. We'll watch that one go out. That's Francisco Orozco. So quickly here in the second half, 5-2, FC Barcelona. And that was a well-placed ball. I mean, Alfonso Hernandez dove to his left, and there was no way he could get there. Just in the corner. Sun directly behind us now as they're late here. Just a little bit after 3 in the afternoon here on Saturday, the 2nd of February. The 3rd of February, 2007. Now out, he wants to run, he's gonna get a shot with the left leg and that one's gonna find its way into the back of the net. Number 12, George Sanchez with the score. Angles here for the near side and it is six to two, FC Barcelona. Again, just got past the defense. Nothing, the keeper. Alfonso Hernandez could do on that one. It was high and in the corner. And the Elsinore Valley defense gonna help their, gonna have to help their keepers out here. They can't be giving up those wide open shots anymore. Again, number 12, George Sanchez comes in deep and the defense gets over and clears it away. Nice job by Ellison or Valley to get there. You had George Ramirez, number 20. And Frank Barrios, number 14. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a kick, centered. Defense needs to clear it away. That shot's gonna be wide, and a goal kick for Elsinore Valley. So 6-2 is the score. Two goals here in the second half for FC Barcelona. We've had eight goals here in this match. A lot of action. Ball in the circle now coming across East Side's Placito. Number eight for Elsinore Valley. Frank Barrios, number 14, getting back to the ball. Barcelona trying to set something up in the middle. Got to see a shot by the leg. The right leg at number 12, George Sanchez, his second score in the last few minutes. And it is 7-2 in favor of FC Barcelona. Huge mountain to climb right now for Elsinore Valley, and you can see it in their eyes. But they're out there, they're running. Ball gets passed. Number 11, Jose Ponce, and over on the far side again, George Ramirez, number 20, and number 14, Frank Barrios. Ball put into play from the far side. And quickly a whistle, and that's gonna go against FC Barcelona. So, Elsinore Valley with a break right there. Ball placed. On the line. Nice kick. Well into the backfield, called it on there, the keeper, and that's first action he's seen here. We're just a few minutes, really, maybe five minutes or so into this second half. Three goals for FC Barcelona, two of them. And we've played 10 minutes, actually six minutes. Two of those scores by number 12, George Sanchez. So the ball is out, another corner kick here for FC Barcelona. Substitutions coming in from the far side into the match is number four. Alfonso Hernandez, who was the keeper, and back in the keeper, Marco Lemus. High into the air, and that ball is going to roll over to the far side. Trip and actually Marco there, number five. He is still in the match. You still have Alfonso Hernandez, number four, as keeper. But we've got another number four for Elsinore Valley here. So I we'll have to figure out who that is. Ball into the backfield and Calderon. Marco, Mark Calderon will make that stop. And the ball is gonna be safe from going out here at midfield by George Sanchez. Ball to the back line, and it goes out here on the side. Nice save, and so it belongs to FC Barcelona, but that was a nice job, because it could have been a corner kick. Coming into the match for FC Barcelona, Carlos Valle, number one. And he replaces number 11, Jose Ponce. Calderon with the left leg, nice strong kick. Bounces into the backfield of Elsinore Valley. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
And that ball is deflected. Ramirez again. Nice play by George. Ball in play and it rolls into the backfield. And Calderon will let his teammates take it. And it's out here on the near side. And off Elsinore Valley. There's Diego. Got to see a very busy in that first half. A little more quiet here. He's letting George Sanchez take all the action here in the second half. So the corner kick from the far side. And let's see here, for Elsinore Valley, number seven, Roberto Guerrero with the left leg. And places it nicely. There's the header still in the air. Valle here on the near side. And it's out here. Chibolano Orange, and it does belong to FC Barcelona. Penalty against FC Barcelona, so it'll go back the other way. Elsinore Valley with the ball. Marco Limus. Shot high into the air, off the hands of Calderon, but he recovers to get to it before it goes out across the back line. Defense gets back. Garcia takes a shot to the net, scooped up by the keeper. Nice job by Alfonso Hernandez. That shot off the leg at 10, Diego Garcia. Ball still in play on the far side, and are they going to say it went out? It did off FC Barcelona, so Elsinore Valley will put the ball into play. In the middle as they try to move over to the far side, or the near side here. Now in the circle, number 14, Frank Barrios. Seven two ball game in favor of FC Barcelona. And they're gonna streak to the net one more time. There's a shot and that's gonna be wide of the net. And they're gonna say it's a corner. So a corner for FC and there goes Diego Garcia on the far side. A lot of traffic in the middle, cleared away by the keeper. Nice job by Hernandez. As that ball could have had, had goal number eight written all over it. Nice job by the Elsinore Valley keeper. Kevin Fernandez, number four, gets back. Now he goes upfield to his teammate Francisco Rosco, number six. And again, out on the far side, and there he is, number 14, Frank Barrios. He'll put the ball into play. Orozco. Juan Orozco, number 23, tries to break free. Has a ball deflected, goes out, but it will be a corner kick for the Orange Squad. Comes out off Orozco, now here come Elsinore Valley, and oh, as they try to go upfield, the ball will go out and belong to FC Barcelona. 
In front with the left leg, there's a shot and it's gonna find the back of the net, the third goal of the match for George Sanchez, the hat trick there. His third score of the second half, it is eight to two in favor of FC Barcelona. Orozco right down the middle. Ball taken away by number 14, Frank Barrios. Nice job. Red team, they want to push it upfield. Upfield foot race. Number 11 gets by the keeper, Hector Montañez. Hector shot is going to be deflected by the defenders there for FC Barcelona. And they clear it up across midfield. George Sanchez with the center. No whistle, or is there a whistle? Late whistle. And we're gonna have an injured player, Diego Sanchez. Diego Garcia, number 10. It looked like it was just outside, and that's where they're pointing, so it wasn't in the box. And that's the third time that Diego, poor Diego has been down, or been, hurt, I should say. He's getting up. And he's trotting out of midfield, so he's okay. And they're gonna put it within the half circle there. And the keeper, Calderon's gonna come out and take the kick. Here it comes towards the net, just wide. And Calderon will retreat back to his spot in front of the net here on the right half of the field. Ten minutes to go here in the match. Ball across midfield. And again, it's Barcelona. This Barcelona squad, just, they're fast and they love to pass. They're very good at it. Elsinore Valley brings it up field number 14, Frank Barrios, but also they're outnumbered on the roster by three. So more substitutions in for FC Barcelona. So you got a lot of tired legs out there for Elsinore Valley. Most definitely, ball in play. Nice job here, number four on the near side. Moves his way into the middle of the field. With the left leg. Now sizing up another shot, that was number eight. He sized Placito. There's a cross, Calderon there. Now with the left leg again in front. Again, Elsinore Valley with another shot on goal, finally cleared away. But they get the pressure here on this half of the field. They really want that score. Nice stop there, number four, Kevin Fernandez. Again, the red team though, really playing some great offense right now, really getting to the ball, very aggressive. Probably their best stand here of the day, offensively. Just using some power to keep the ball here on this half of the field. So Calderon with a kick, it's in the circle. Diego Garcia, number 10, upfield. He let it just a little bit too strong, taken away by Elsinore Valley. Nice series of headers there by Diego Garcia. There's a cross, now it's gonna be cleared over to the far side and out, and it will belong to FC Barcelona. Into the match for FC Barcelona now, number 11, Jose Ponce. Shoot it! 
23, Juan Orozco will come out for a breather. Elsinore Valley pushes it into the backfield. Calderon gets there. Gets away from number 11, Hector Montañez, and saves it from going out here on the near side. And it does go out, finally. Maybe came out a little too fast or too far for his liking and had to streak back in front of the net as it was completely wide open. Ramirez, number 20, played his heart out in the backfield for Elsinore Valley. In fact, everybody out there for Elsinore Valley has been quick to the ball, getting there as quickly as they could. No giving up here today. Got to see a change his direction, moves in the middle, but the ball is deflected away. Now the ball out on the near side. Still orange ball, FC Barcelona. Just about six minutes to go in the match. As FC Barcelona is up big here in the second half. And the free kick here, Calderon is gonna take it. Or no, he's just gonna come up in the middle. And Diego Garcia, number 10, shot towards the net, deflected away by the keeper, Hernandez, nice job. Ball still in front, that shot, another deflection by the keeper, and that one is over the net. So Elsinore Valley with a nice defensive stand right there, nice job and a couple of saves by Alfonso Hernandez. Ball out on the near side. And belongs to Elsinore Valley. The red team will put it into play. And as it rolls over to the far side, Francisco Rosco, number six, sends it to the left half. is there, Diego, or George Ramirez, Elsinore Valley. They don't want to allow another goal here the rest of the way. And cleared down to the backfield, number 14, Frank Barrios. It'll still roll towards the back line and go out for the goal kick. Under five minutes, four minutes to go here in the match. And it will be FC Barcelona with the victory here over El Sonor Valley in this boys under nine bracket play game. The 3rd of February, 2007 here in Temecula, California. 2007 State Cup. Shot to the net, it's gonna hit the post and find its way into the back of the net. Here on the near side for FC Barcelona, Diego Garcia with another score. There's a whistle. Sonor Valley will start it up again inside the circle. Battling there, number 15, Augustine Lara. Three minutes to go. And the free kick, number 11, Hector Montañez will take it.
Right down the middle to Calderoni goes down on his knee. Mark Calderoni makes the stop. Ball taken away. Nice job here on the near side. Del Sonor Valley. Ball saved from going out. In the circle now across midfield. Wanting to get out and run with it. Number seven, Roberto Guerrero. And the ball out over it to the other side at midfield. Two minutes to go. Down the middle. Can they get a shot? It's going to be just wide of the net. Goal kick for FC Barcelona. And the ball out on the near side. Orange ball. Throw is going to come in. There's a the whistle, and that's the end of this boys' under nine match. And today it was FC Barcelona over Elsinore Valley. As you see the teams here at midfield, of course, Elsinore Valley not feeling too good about themselves, but they can come away with some good. I mean, they can hold their chin up. They played hard all the way throughout for 50 minutes, but it was just too much FC Barcelona here. So for George Langevin Productions, this is Ken Gonzalez signing off. Your victors, FC Barcelona. Until we see you again, be safe and have a great day, everybody. King Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions. We're here with the post-game interviews with the Elsinore Valley squad here in red. And why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Marco. Um, my number is number five, and I, I play goalie. My name is Alfonso Junior Hernandez, and I, I'm number four, and I play any position. <laughs> my name is Hector, and I, my number is number 11, and I play, what is it? Right half back. Right half back. All right, so you play keeper and what else? Because we saw you play some other positions today. Forward, um, forward um, like him, I play anything. You guys switch off a lot? Yeah. 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 So this is a uh, pretty good team you guys went up against, huh? Yeah, Barcelona. Yeah. yeah, they're good. They're always good, huh? Yeah. So how long have you played on this team? Um, for like about one year or two. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do you remember the name of the team you played on before? Celtic. How were they? Pretty good? Okay, who would win in a match? You guys or Celtic? Mm, guys, I think Celtic. No, no, no. no, but you're on this team now, so you'll win, right? Fine, yeah. Because they're worse off without you. Elsinore. <laughs> Elsinore will win. All right, how about you? Did you ever play for another team? Um, uh, America. America? Oh, yeah. How come you don't know all the answers to his question? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was on my team before. You guys were on the same team? I played in America, too. Yeah, that was a rec team? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever play keeper? No. No. Don't want to. Only sometimes. I was a forward. Really? That was the best one on the team. Now, was, was keeper the first position you ever learned to play? Yeah. Yeah? Is that why you like it so much? Yeah. Would you ever want to play anything else 
I mean, I know you played forward, but would you rather play keeper the whole game? No. No? <laughs> you like going switching off? Yeah. How about you? I like forward. You do why? You like to get out and run? Yeah. You... And you get to score goals. Yeah. Have you guys scored a lot of goals this year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Quite a few. How about you? Right half back. Right half back. So you don't score too many goals. Yeah. You do a lot of setups? Yeah. yeah. Okay, in practice, what's your favorite drill that you guys do? Uh, running. You love to run? Yeah. Just straight running? Yeah. <laughs> really? You like that too? Yeah. You guys scrimmage? Scrimmage. Yeah. Scrimmage. Yeah, scrimmage is good. How about do they line up and take shots at you? Yeah. How's that? You do a lot of diving? Yeah, but it's muddy. It's muddy over there? Yeah. Can't you move the net? Yeah. Um, yeah. You could? I like goalie too. Yeah? You like to get muddy too? Yeah, I like to dive. <laughs> now besides soccer, what else do you like to do? Football. You play football? What position do you play? Are you halfback again too? Yeah. Yeah? Like How about you? What do you do? Basketball. Basketball? Football and volleyball. Fo and volleyball? Volleyball. Do you ever spike it? Yeah? <laughs> it's cool. What do you play for your school or just for fun? For fun. Just for fun? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. That's your chance. Who do you want to say hi to back home? My dad. Who else? Anyone else? Uh, my mom, my sister, and my other family. Okay, how about you? All of my family. Every single one of them? Yeah. Okay? Me too. You too? Like All his family or your family? My family. Your family? My dad and my mom and my aunt and my uncle. All and right. My cousins. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Not sisters. No. Brothers? Six brothers. Six brothers? You weren't going to say hi to them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. All right. All done? Anybody else you forget? Um, oh, my grandfather and my grandmother. Okay. All the people in Mexico that are, that are my ancestors. Cool. All right, good job, guys. Good luck when you play again. Give a nice wave to the camera there before you leave. Big smile. All right, we got three more players here to my left for the Elsinore Valley Youth Soccer League. Who are you guys? Uh -oh. Isaiah. Baby. Um, they call me Baby. And what's your number and your positions? Um, I'm number eight, and my position is defense. And when they make a lot of goals, I go up. <laughs> you go up front? Yeah, okay. My name is George, and I'm number 20, and I play defense in the middle. In middle. My name is Roberto Guerrero. My number is seven. My po my position is forward. All right, we've got a lot of guys that can score up here on this team. So, when you, I mean, obviously you don't like when the other team scores a lot of goals, but isn't it fun when you get to play up front? Yeah. 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 What was the very first position you learned how to play? Defense. Defense. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are pretty quick, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Today, we were, I was talking about you when we were doing the game. You played a really good game defensively. You got some tall legs, and you're pretty fast. Is that your favorite position, defense? It looked like you were born to play defense. Yeah. I, um, first, um, I started playing by forward, but then the um, harder teams came, so they thought I would be good, good for defense. And, I, I started um, to like defense, so I played just the hardest I could do for my family and everything uh, that I loved. Yeah, you did. You did a good job today, really, defensively. And going over to you, you were up front today most of the day. You were going battling with those guys. There's a lot of elbows and stuff being thrown out there. Yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty physical game. Yeah. I know, but you were quick. They were pretty quick up front. Like normally, the teams that you normally play when you're back home, you find it kind of that you're faster or just as fast as the other guys? Um, just as fast as the other guys. Just as fast. Now, when you guys are playing, pra when you're practicing, like I asked the other guys, what's your favorite drill in practice? Um, running. Run Everyone likes running. Yeah. So what if you just went to practice and all you did was run? Um, oh. I, I, um, 
will be more faster. Yeah, yeah, you will. <laughs> You'll be really fast. Now, when you're not playing soccer, like when you're at school, do you like run or I mean, yeah. you do track or what do you do? I pick In Monday, we have like a park, and my classroom does running for about one hour, and then in Friday we do it the same. We run for one hour. Do you do relays or what kind of running? Like, yeah, relays. Relays. Um, at my school, we play soccer and 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 at PE, only the boys have to play soccer, and we we have to practice a lot. Yeah. Or sometimes we play basketball. Basketball and PE, that's good. How about you? What do you do at your school? Um, I um. I pick my own team, soccer team, in my school. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then we play versus on another kid's team. Really? Uh, he picks a team too. Yeah. His team. Do you guys always go up against each other? Yeah. Who usually wins? We do. You guys do. <laughs> now, do you guys go to different schools, all of you? Yeah. Yeah. Do. Well, how long have you been on this team? Um, like only like two, years. two months. Oh, so you're pretty new, huh? No, it's like four months. Four months? That's pretty new. How about you? Two years. Uh, so you're one of the older kids on the team. You've been on it the longest. No, he's eight years old. He's smaller than me. He's younger, but he's been on the team longer than you. Yeah? I could have... Um, soccer, I was playing for about for three years already. My first year was um, my, fa my favorite because um, I thought... Um, that soccer was going to be easy, and then um, it wasn't, so I thought I was going to be the best, uh, so, um, and I wasn't, so I still didn't went, I still didn't went go to games, and um, more years passed, and I got better and better. You just keep learning, get better and better huh, every time. Yeah, that's pretty cool. How about you? You guys getting better and better every year you play? Yeah. Yeah? Did you think you were the best two when you first started? Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's tough, huh? Yeah. So every time you go out there, they do really good. But that's what makes you guys good players all the time. All right, who are you going to say hi to back home? Dogs, cats, family, brothers, sisters? Family, family and brothers and sisters. Yeah? Anyone else? Is that good? Um, grandpas, um, um, Uncles. Okay. I well, I say hi to my mom and dad because uh, I play so hard just because I l love them. And at my grandpa, my grandparents, I play hard for them. All my family, I play hard for them. Good. I'm sure they appreciate that too. Um, I I say hi to my my grandfathers and grandmothers and my uncles and my aunts. Yeah, you got a lot of them? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. All right, good job, guys. Hopefully you guys will get a win. Give a nice wave to the camera there before you get out of here, and we'll see you later. All right, we're back here. We're going to finish up the interviews. We've got the last three players here for Elsinore Valley, and who are you? Angel. And your number and your positions? My number is 13, and I play forward. Okay. Augustine. And I play middle halfback, and my number is 15. I'm Frank, my number is 14, and I play left defense and halfback. So you guys are number 13, 14, and 15. 13, 14, 15. You always do that? Go together? No. Just a coincidence? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now do you guys go to the same school or different school? Different schools. All three of you go to different schools? What grade are you in? Second. You're in second grade, do you like it? Yeah. Do you like your teachers? Yeah. All of them? Yeah. Yeah? That's pretty good. Have you been going to the same school for the last couple years? Yeah. Yeah. What's the name of it? Isabel Barnett. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All right, going to you. Are you in second grade too? Third. You're in third grade? What's the name of your school? Butterfield Elementary. Yeah, you like it there? Yeah. You like all your teachers? Yeah. Yeah, all right, that's good. And how about you? What's the name of your school? Elton Elementary School. And what grade are you in? Third. You're in third grade too? So he's in second. You guys are a little bit older? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, how long have you guys been on this team? 
about a year or two. Oh, really? So you've been on it for a while? Same with you? Yeah. 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 So you guys know each other for a while. Yeah. yeah. When you guys are coming to these tournaments, what's the, like the funnest thing besides playing the soccer? Like when you're waiting for games, what do you guys do? You guys play any other games while you're waiting? No, we just wait and rest so we could be ready to play again. You ready to play? You don't mess around too much? No. Nah. All right, so what was the very first position that you ever learned in soccer? Left defense. Left defense? What do you think? You like it? Yeah. Yeah? Is that your favorite position? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good at it. You guys are all quick. So you guys all probably like to run in practice, yeah. too. Yeah. I never met so many guys that like to run so much. That's pretty cool, you know? Because that's going to help you when you get older because a lot of teams don't run that much. So when you get older, you're going to be used to it. Um, all right, so we're here in Temecula. It's getting a little bit warmer. What are some of the things you like to do when you're not playing soccer? I like to play tetherball at my school when I um, go to school. You play baseball or basketball or anything else? play basketball. Basketball? All right, what's your favorite NBA team? Lakers. Lakers? All right, how about your favorite player? Kobe Bryant. Kobe. Yeah, Kobe. All right, how about you? What other sports do you play? Football. Football? Yeah. What's your favorite team? Eagles. The Eagles? That's pretty good. Who's their quarterback? I don't know. Do you know who it is? No. Isn't it McNabb? No. Yeah. Let's go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, how about you? What do you do besides play soccer? I see. I play basketball and, and play handball. Handball? That's pretty fun, huh? Does it ever hurt your hand? No, I no? wear gloves. You wear gloves? That's Do you play outside against the wall? Yeah, yeah. at school. At school? Do a lot of kids play at your school? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's pretty good. All right, who do you want to say hi to back home before you get out of here? So you can give all your shout outs. My uncle, all my cousins, like everybody in my family. Okay, how about you? Everybody in my family. Every single one? Do you have any pets? Mm, yeah. What do you have? A hamster, and two hamsters and one dog. Really? You got a, are they in cages, a hamster? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's cool. How about you? Who do you want to say hi to? To my grandma and my, my sister Kimberly and my dad. All right, guys, good job. Hopefully you guys will get a win here. Give a nice wave, big smile to the camera, and you're out of here. Okay, with the head coach of Elsinore Valley. Coach, what's the most important thing for kids these age right now that you're trying to get in their mind? Well, what we're trying to do is have something to do. They got to have something to do for them not to be messing around and go out on the streets or anything like that. So we got to have them doing something, some kind of activity, so that way their minds, they don't just stay on school and messing around. They got to have something to do for for uh, for themselves. Because uh, there's a big thing here. We, you, you work hard in school. And you and you work hard in uh, in practices, so that way you can be good at what you want to be, what you want to do. Right. Yeah. And it's good. A lot of these kids have been playing together for one or two years now, so they're really getting to know each other. Yeah. They're, right now, they're. I have. I only have like uh, about nine months with them so far, and they're they come along real good because they've been playing. They've been practicing hard. But today, <laughs> today I don't know what happened. I, I, I mean, that team, that team is good, but it, we shouldn't, we shouldn't have lost that bad to them. I mean, these guys are, these guys are good players. We have compete with, uh, with good clubs, uh, teams that are, that have beat that team, and we have beat those teams that beat that team. But today it was, I mean, my kid uh, Hector, he was, he was sick all day yesterday and all night he was throwing up. So he's yeah, my other, yeah, he he probably was like 30 percent, and he's my best player. Yeah. So he he was part of my offense. It was it was it was cut short yeah. because uh, my best player was not performing the way he, he usually performed. What I, I think what happened too is because of that, because of the offense, they were getting back after after the wins. They're getting back on their offense a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. And they had a lot of open looks because your guys were still up front. Exactly. And uh, 
what was happening that he wasn't running back. I mean, he was tired. I mean, tired. His, his leg gave up on him. Yeah. Plus, got, they had some good shots, too. They really had some good shots, but they were wide open shots. Yeah. I mean, nobody was with them. Yeah. And that was my main focus before we started the game. I told them exactly what to do. We have to have a man on, the, on them. We cannot let them be by themselves, taking shot or going. And especially right now, we, ha we really don't have a goalie. I mean, we haven't had a goalie our whole season because we had a, we had a good goalie, and right at season start, the 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 parent said he wasn't gonna play. After after I had already worked with that kid for four months and make him ready for the team. The I mean, the kid was good. So I had to come up with one of these guys to, to keep for the... So they're just learning as they go. As they learn, as they go, yeah. We really don't have a, uh, a real keeper because yeah. they really don't like being keepers. Right. If, if you have them out there, they just... They all want to be forward. They want to be forward. They want to they play inside. They don't really want to be there, right. you know. At the end, I even I won that point in a, my kid, uh, Angel. He was he has never never kept the whole <laughs> the whole season he never kept. Yeah. And today he decided, well, when nobody else is doing it, they might as well put me there, with that. So yeah, well, I went on and, uh, and tried to <laughs> They scored about four or five goals on him. But other than that. Yeah. All right, but you know, at this age, you know, even in a game like this, they're going to learn from it. That's the big thing. You know, they're they're going to learn. They, they, they're learning the hard way. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a hard loss. I mean, they're going to get to see it uh, they're, when the parents show them. They're gonna get to see what they're not doing right, what I'm asking for them to do. Yeah. Especially this guy, he didn't even play half of the player he is. I mean, this guy is a great player, but he, well, had, bounce a, back, you know. he had a horrible first and second game. I mean, it just, um, it's a bad experience for me because we usually, my teams usually, I get them ready for, for games like this, and this one was, maybe it was one of those days that we, we just, sick. we just, we, and part of it is because the, the players were sick. A couple of them were sick, and a couple of them were, were not trying the way they usually play. I mean, that was the big thing right there. Two key players did not perform. Well, and like you said, it, it, sometimes you get a game like this, and you just hope they learn from it, and, and, yes. and maybe it's a good thing that you know get them going for you know the future. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm what I'm trying to tell you guys. They're gonna see it, and they're gonna they're gonna be embarrassed. Believe me, they're embarrassed right now because this this shouldn't happen. We we went undefeated the whole season. I mean, these guys went undefeated. They won every game, and we uh, there was a stretch of games that we had like 20 games without a loss. Wow. I mean. This is a good team. It's not a. It's not as bad that's as. That's a. That's a good streak for this age group too. Exactly. Because the focus isn't always. Yeah. They, they, I mean, they were. They were so used to winning that when they. They come up. When they lost the game, they all came out crying. Yeah, but now. Now it's just. This is a tough loss for them because they played a, against a team that I think is gonna compete to win the state cup. They're a good team. Yeah. They, they. They're a buzzsaw. Yeah. They're a good team. That team. That team is good. I mean, they beat uh, the the state champs right now, West Coast. They have beat them the last the last two tournaments. They have oh, beat really? them in the finals. So that team right there is real good. I believe they if they don't make it all the way to the semifinals, it's because they're gonna have a bad game like these guys. Right, here. but they should be there. They should be all the way to the semifinals. Yeah, that's a great team right there. Well, thanks a lot for being here with us. Good luck the rest of the way. Hopefully your team will bounce back. I'm sure they will. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. I hope those parents get to see this, uh, <laughs> this video game and um, show your kids what they're doing wrong. <laughs> and we're we'll, going to have to practice hard. I believe we have a good chance of doing a lot better next season. We're, going, we're moving up to silver. And... Hopefully we'll win Silver and go to Silver Elite, and that's my whole, you know, we need a keeper. That's a whole big thing for me. We need a keeper, and hopefully we'll get one this yeah, year. Maybe one of these guys will step up and want to learn it. Well, there's one there that wants to learn, but I haven't had time to to get my brother, because my brother usually uh, helped me with the keepers. 
So as soon as I have, we get a little light, daylight, when, once the, the, the time change, then I'll be able to get them out there to help me with them, yeah. But right now, we're going to have to do what we have, and, <laughs> and hopefully we won't have another hopefully bad game like this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, bye. All right. Well, that'll do it for us here in Temecula 2007 State Cup. Kenyon's officer, George Langevin Productions. You heard it from the coach right there. He spelled out to you parents. Tell your kids to watch that video. Give them a little pointers. Help them get a keeper. And I think this team will bounce back. So until next time, be safe and have a good night, everybody.